It was a good night for the Lions overall, but in particular, the Irish guys that started. I mean, the likes of Sean O'Brien, he looked back to you know physical peak. I think it was his first full start since um, the Champions Cup quarterfinal in April. So, I mean, he looked in incredible shape. You mentioned Conor Murray, he had a great game. Um, Tyg Furlong, Jack McGrath, you know, these, these guys really stood up. Yeah, yeah. You don't want to be too parochial about it, but let's go there anyway. <laughs> yeah, overall, the Irish guys were, were, were standouts, really. Off the bench, maybe Jack and McGrath was, he was solid. He didn't have, have a whole lot to do. I think CJ Sander will be disappointed with that that knock on in the incident we've just spoken mm -hmm. about. But he had some really nice carries before before when the line breaks down the left hand side. I think it was Ben Teo. He had a really good carry with nice footwork as well, which he which he needed to add in maybe from that Auckland Blues game. Um, but the guy who started just outstanding. Connor Murray's kick, and we've spoken about that. Um, and he looks like a leader in that squad already. He doesn't speak as much as other guys, but just by his very actions, um, he, he kind of leads the leads the squad. There was one miss, pa uh, one poor pass to deck, where um, Sean O'Brien kind of covered for his arse by sprinting back. Incredible pace he showed actually to cover Richie Moanga. So I think Conor Murray will probably buy him a beer for that, as well as buying Stuart yeah. Hogg a beer for splitting open his head. And interestingly, those, those two are actually roommates at the moment. So uh, I think there'll be a few cups of teas made by Conor Murray maybe tonight. Um, but in the back row. Really, really impressed with, with Peter O'Mahony and Sean O'Brien. I think Warren Galland will really like what he saw from those two. Peter O'Mahony, he, he gives you the, the best defensive line-out forward skills in Europe, really. You know, jumping at two, we saw an early steal in that game. Not many of the other back rows can do that. Uh, I thought his handling skills were good. He put Ben Teo away at one stage nicely. He got in for a, a, a turnover at the breakdown where he kicked the ball loose. Um, and off the ball, the... the, the the things you notice uh, being at the matches are those off the ball moments where he really leads, where he gets in guys' ears, encouragement, maybe a kick up the arse, getting in the opposition's faces. You know, there was that time where the scrum went over um, and, and the Crusaders kind of rubbing it in the Lions' faces. There's Peter O'Mahony straight in, grabbing jerseys, not taking a step back. I think Gallen likes that, that, that approach he, he has to that kind of stuff. Um, you mentioned Tyke Furlong, really good in the scrum against two. All Blacks loose heads, and he really impressed. I think he's going to be the test starter there. And Sean O'Brien, great to see him get through such a good uh, shift, having not played since the start of April. Um, but he looked really fit. He looked, he looked like he's got his body composition in a nice place. You know, he had that pace, and um, he had the power still in the carry, and he he, he just loves those big games. He, he's kind of built for it. He's he's proven he can do it. Um, and I think it's really interesting for him now with with Sam Warburton having had that ankle uh, issue. Warren Gallen says he will play on Tuesday against the Highlanders, but I think Sean Bryan, Sean Bryan has made a, a really big statement there.